Tampa Bay lost a local icon this week. Joe Haskins passed away. If you are an avid biker in Tampa, you probably knew Joe or maybe somebody whose life was touched by this community giant. 10 Tampa Bay reporter Bobby Lewis is on the road in Tampa Heights where support for a grieving family is showing up in a big way. It's quiet today at the bike shop. All the tears have stopped for now. We have had a few extra people stop by just to say um, they're sorry and to, to pray for us. The name you can't miss when riding past the building will certainly be missed. Joe would be overwhelmed with the support that's been thrown out there in the last few days. Joe Haskins ran this bike shop in Tampa Heights for 30 years. It quickly became a Tampa institution for two-wheel enthusiasts. Uh, the one thing about Joe was he was a very honest, fair man. He just made everybody feel really important. Aaron and, Chizeski uh, moved to Seattle 13 years ago, but he remembers growing up near Joe's bike shop and the generosity of its owner. Yeah, it's tough because uh, he was really, really a special guy. You don't get a chance to meet people like Joe Haskins uh, often in your life, and when you do, it, you, you know that you know this is just somebody special. A lot of people agree with Aaron. Joe died last Saturday and the family posted a couple of updates on his condition on Facebook and it only took a few days for hundreds of complimentary comments to be left online. Scott called Joe a true Tampa legend. Matt said I'm 40 now and I've been going to see Joe since I was 10 and CB added Joe and the shop are part of what made Tampa home. Now, I never knew Joe but these comments paint a beautiful picture of a man who was beloved by his community and left quite a dent in Tampa Heights. Every one of my bikes I got from Joe. And, and I can uh, promise you this, that every every single time I climb on 